Hello and welcome to this video tutorial on creating scenario reports and scenario pivot tables in Microsoft Excel. My name is Renee Clark. First, let's look at what a scenario report looks like. It has on it the changing cells and the result cells plus the current values of the spreadsheet as well as the values of the spreadsheet when each of the available scenarios is ran. In my example, the changing cells and result cells are showing as labels because I've used defined names for those cells. If I had not done that, it would show as the actual cell reference. To access scenario reports, you simply go to the data ribbon, open up the what if analysis, then scenario manager, select the scenario summary button, and from here, you get the Scenario Summary dialog box as shown at the top of the screen. Make sure that the Scenario Summary is being selected. Click OK. Then your report will be generated in a separate tab. Let's take a look at how that's done in the live spreadsheet. Next, let's look at scenario pivot table reports. To access them, it's the same type of thing. You go to the data ribbon, open up the scenario manager, and in this time, when your scenario summary button is clicked, you're going to change from scenario summary in the scenario summary dialog box to the report type of scenario pivot table report. Verifying, of course, your result cells are the correct ones, click OK, and you will then generate a pivot table in a separate tab similar to what I'm showing you here in this sample. Now again, I've used defined names so you can see the impact that has on what's showing up for result cells. At this point, you simply format your numbers as you want. You can move the layout of the table around if necessary at that point. Next, I'll demonstrate that for you. More of my lectures can be found on YouTube by searching for Renee K. Clark and then subscribing to my channel. You will find a variety of Excel lectures available as well as selected other lectures.